What is going on all of you beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous gaming legends out there? My name is Tyler, aka Deathly, and this is going to be APA Week 8, going up against the one and only LA Spice, which I have to say, pretty fearsome logo, let's be honest. But, um, this is going to be Week 8, like I said, uh, so, it is the last match with this particular team. Um, then you guys are going to get the draft analysis for Week 3. Um, or draft number three before I go into my week nine match, which is against the one and only Gator. So, um, hopefully you guys are excited for what the next bout of drafting brings for the squad. And then if we make playoffs, we get to pick from all three of our different drafts for APA. So this is my last hurrah with these guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are excited to see how they perform and what's coming next. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and list. You guys can see six of her Pokemon here, uh, going up against K. Cray, and uh, her other mons that are not pictured here are Espeon, Stack Attacka, Houndoom, Regirock, and Luxray. So, uh, these are the six that I thought she would bring potentially versus me, uh, and this is how I decided to counter it, uh, as well as offers coverage for the other five mons that potentially could come as well. Um, so, there's a lot here, uh, extremely offensive team, and uh, if she can get behind uh, Roar Vale um, with Alola Ninetales, there's a lot to worry about in terms of their ability to set up with Dragon Dances or uh, Belly Drum or Power Up Punch or anything in those regards. So, um, got to be very careful, and that's why I'm going to be leading Heatran um, right out of the gate here. Protect, Toxic, Stealth Rock uh, kind of gives me an answer to the High Jump Kicks. Uh, if that's what um, is potentially being rocked from the Megalopony. Um, Toxic kind of to whittle things down. The Flash Cannon is pretty much to destroy Alolan Ninetales and anything else that could potentially pose the problems like the Regirock. Um, and then, you know, the lefties and some defensive capabilities there. Speaking of defensive capabilities, we have Suicune with a Rest, Sleep Talk, Scald, Ice Beam, Rocky Helmet set. Kind of a nice way to get some chip damage in on his team. Uh, in addition to, if Dragonite doesn't come, she doesn't have Defog, and she has no way to clear hazards. So Heatran can get rocks up and keep them up, which will be wonderful. Um, the plan is to run a Prankster Tailwind from Tornadus, uh, potentially get the double damage from the Acrobatics if the Iapa Berry pops and uh, gets us the health back, and then we have the double damage from the Acrobatics. Um, pretty much hope to outspeed her team. Um, Tornadus helps um, and outspeeds everything but Zygarde and Megalopony. So if those two don't come or they go down early, Tornadus can potentially just finish things off, which will be wonderful. Um, but with the Tailwind, I plan on combining it with our Nitto King or our Haxorus and just kind of finishing through. Um, so we have Volt Switch. This is HP Ice Protect and Light Screen to offer our own defensive capability for um, to put Haxorus behind a Light Screen and start Dragon Dancing. Uh, Volt Switch is going to pair with Tornadus's U Turn. Um, to give us that Volt Turn momentum. And then we have Nitto King with EP, um, Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, and Shadow Ball for some additional coverage to kind of help deal with a couple of other Pokemon on her squad. Um, Sheer Force Life Orb for that added damage output. And then last but not least, we have Haxorus, our Groudium Z, Poison Jab, Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, uh, Sweeper. I'm planning on bringing it in and just going to town. Um, there isn't much that can deal with Dragon with Haxorus, especially after one Dragon Dance. And the Ground EMZ is kind of help fin finish off anything else that would pose a threat otherwise. So that is going to be the squad. That's what we're going to be doing. And uh, hopefully it brings us some good luck. We'll see how it works out for us and what she decides to bring out on the battlefield. See you guys there. It's time. Come on. Accepted. Let's get it, people. Okay, Cray, here we go. Uh, I will decide the rules. Decide myself. Normal rules. Let's see what she decides to bring. Checking the SD card. I'm not cheating. Participating team. Yeet. There they all are. 
yes, my party is looking fierce and ready for battle here. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can all do and bring here. Give you guys a nice little theme. Battle Royale, because why not? Pokemon Battle Royale. I feel like most people like turn off in-game music and then give you guys some like slapping beats. Nah, fam. We have like 40 different options to choose from. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, I guess some mons incorrectly here. So, no Azumarill. Don't need to worry about that. There's the stack attack. Uh, so, Trick Room is a potential option. Just swapping out one gold shiny for the yellow brick road. There's Zydoge. So, she has both Pokemon that outspeed. Um, and I am going to have to worry about Luxray over Trevenant. I don't think I've ever seen a Luxray in draft format. So, um, I think it gets like Guts. Intimidate some other stuff, but we're gonna lead Heatran and just pray she does not lead Zydoge. Uh, because if she does, things are not gonna look good for us because she'll be able to get a Dragon Dance off pretty quickly. But I'll just like throw a okay, so we're looking at Luxray level 50. And we are looking at a stack attacker. So we're going to lead Heytran out of the gate here. Mm, let's see. Icy Spice. Okay, so that's exactly what we wanted right out of the gate. That is going to be Alola Ninetales. Wait, hang on. That's Luxray Dragonite. We're missing the Mega Lopany. Lopany Mega. Okay, this is exactly how I anticipated this going to start. Um, Alola Ninetales gets absolutely demolished by a Flash Cannon. Um, I'm going to get Rocks up early. Because she is going to outspeed me here. It's going to suck because the... Wait, did it not summon Hail? Should, should, shouldn't there be hail? What's its other ability? Snow cloak? So she has to set hail to get a roar veil up. Oh my goodness. I misclicked. I just assumed. I just assumed. Um, that's unfortunate because I probably could have killed this thing right away. But we get the rocks up, which is fine, because it'll prevent it from coming back in to set in. That's Dragonite. Wonderful. Okay, Dragonite versus Heatran. What are we looking at? EQ hurts a lot. Flash Cannon doesn't hurt nearly as much. I'd imagine she's going to go for the EQ here. I'm going to go ahead and bring in... Obviously, Tornadus like, deals with this rather well. Um... But, like, move-wise, really doesn't help me too much. Um, I think Suicune is the... Yeah, Suicune is definitely the better option. Takes the damage well. Offers me some chance to stop it from setting up too much with Dragon Dance. Um, and I've got Rocks up. She could potentially go right for the Defog here. I um, almost wish I'd slung a Toxic. But Rocks up is good. Rocks up is great, actually. Because it allows us to deal with it later. Um, I think she realized she might have had the wrong... I don't know. Maybe she wants to set Hail herself and then have the um, evasive nips of Snow Cloak. Which, like, I feel like I've done, like, six seasons now. And nobody told me. Like, I ran Umbreon. Or not Umbreon. Whoa. Whoa. Um... Glaceon for like an entire season and nobody told me that I could run like Snow Cloak. I always thought it had to be like the healing one. Ooh, locked into outrage. Okay. Locked into outrage. Really? Okay, um, I mean, Heatran eats that up. Yeah, 
at about 30%. Um, how fast is Dragonite? Let me take Dragonite's 80 speed. No Espeon, no Azumarill. Suicune is 85 base speed. Um, but I don't have any speed investment. She probably does. And I'm not willing to sack this right now. Are you Lumberry? I don't think you are. You are not Lumberried. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and protect. I want to see what she does. I could have done this the first time to scout out what move was going to be done. Didn't make sense to sack the Suicune. I think that's an adamant Dragonite, because, like, it shouldn't have done that much. It should have been closer to 20 or 30. But even adamant max attack, like, it shouldn't have, unless it's, like, Dragon... Is it Draco-plated? Oh, hang on. Let's see. Multi-scale. Draco-plate, Suicune... Yeah, that's about the health that we're looking at. So that was a high roll. Adamant Draco plate. It's the only explanation for the damage. Status currently confused. So we'll see what happens. Um, I am somewhat hopeful that we'll have... Uh... God, I look so unhealthy. Turn down some of these lights here. Right, guys? Get all intimate. Oh, yeah. Oh, might help if I was pressing the... Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway. <sighs> what is going to happen here? So, Outrage, two turns. I use Protect. What do you decide to do? Hopefully hurt yourself in Confusion. Confused. And... He locks into Outrage again. Okay. And we'll find out speed-wise where this thing's at. Because I... If I outspeed, which I shouldn't by any stretch of the imagination, should not outspeed this thing. Um... Do, do... We'll at least get the Toxic off. And we've got the lefties. I can sling a Toxic freely. I mean, unless... I mean, Luxray does have Guts, right? That's what I was going to look up earlier. You're locked into Outrage. Like, you can't choose anything else. Guts, Rivalry, and Intimidate. Okay, so we'll know right away if it's Intimidate or not. Um... It doesn't have any sort of, like, electric boost in terms of, like, me having to worry about bringing in... Manetric and like unable to hit it. Snapped out of confusion, used outrage. Okay. I'll live this. There's the toxic, and the toxic misses. Sweet. Wonderful. And you still have one more turn of outrage, so we're going to protect real quick. Then you're going to get confused. And now I need to figure out how the hell I'm going to finish this off. This is getting so annoying with how much damage it did. Do you seriously not get confused?
course it crit. Why the hell not? Um. Okay, so Heatran goes down. I'm going to bring in Mega Manetric. Um, that was really unfortunate. But you know what? We're going to Mega Evolve. And I am going to Volt Switch since you're locked in. I got a free bring in for Mega Manetric. I'm going to outspeed. Maybe should have HP iced. I definitely should have HP iced. Okay. Yeah, you know what, we're going to take the risk. Go on in, Suicune. You know, the only other moment I feel like is okay to sack at the moment. I mean, I might live this. I do. Okay, wonderful. Suicune will not outspeed, though. And actually, Dragonite's minus one at the moment, potentially minus two if I bring in, yes, yes, that's what we're going to do. Yes. Right, because Nitto King, I, I just, this is such a weird position to be in. In terms of like not having a um, fairy type to just eat these outrages. Can you stop with all of this damage? Please? Are you scared? Scarfed Outrage? Please don't be Scarfed Outrage. And that potentially could be why she just keeps hitting Outrage. To deal with Haxorus later. Suicune can really only sleep in front of... If I can get a rest off in front of Stack Attack, I'll be stoked. Oh, cool. We Actually, I, I knew I outsped because of the earlier. Okay, there's the first Mon gone. We speed tie with Megalopony, um, but she does have some form of priority there, so we just have to be really careful what happens next. It's Mega Manetric speed ties, so if she has form of priority there, I'm just going to protect. Who's 10 out of 10? Zydog. Okay. I mean... Outspeed. Anetric. Mega. Custom set. HP Ice. Pretty much GG. Unless this thing is Scarfed. It is! Sweet. Scarfed Thousand Arrows. Wonderful. Okay. So that's a Scarf Zydog. Um, nope, wrong button. Okay. How in God's name? Okay, so you are choice scarfed. Zydoge. Not at minus one. Um... Takes a thousand arrows well. Nitto King doesn't. This honestly could be game. Um
Tailwind double speed, but I have nothing that outspeeds. Well, no, choice scarf is one and a half times speed. So actually, I bring in Torn. We set the Tailwind. Yes, okay. We're just setting up earlier than I anticipated. Because this is going terribly. Um, Scarf is 1.5 times. So if I set Tailwind on my side and go to Haxorus. Haxorus, Dragon Claw, out. I could have gone Haxorus right away. Nah. Mm. I mean, she's locked in. Could have gone Haxorus, gotten a Dragon Dance off. I need the... Actually, no. I need the Tailwind. So, this is the right play no matter what. I don't know if she realizes Thousand Arrow can hit flying Pokemon. I mean, you're locked in. You had spammed outrage. You're locked in 2,000 arrows now. I mean, there's still a lot of threats left on our team. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do this outside of, like, getting Haxorus to just run through the team right now. Okay, so we live... Prankster gets us the Tailwind first. Here comes the Thousand Arrows. That's going to kill Tornadus. Or not. What? Oh, snap. Actually. Well, now that I know I'm going to outspeed. Sucks that my Alpha Berry didn't pop, though. I mean, I could have U-turned into Haxorus, but I want him at full health. So this is the first turn of Tailwind. I just wish my berry had popped. Beautiful. There's the Scarf. There's Thousand Arrows. That'll kill me. Okay. And now we've got, like, Haxorus comes in. She can click any move, but I outspeed, so... Do I use EQ? Anticipating that she goes... Yes. I don't want to get locked into Dragon Dance. Or to, um... Not locked in, but I don't want to waste a turn of... of um... What's it called? Tailwind. If it's not going to guarantee me a kill. So, at the moment, I'm concerned about um, her bringing in Alolan Ninetales to eat the Dragon Claw and it have zero effect. Yep. And she withdraws. That's exactly what she does. Okay, good. So. Now the question is. Do I... 
Is it greedy? Yes, it would be because she has priority. Okay, so there's Alolan Ninetales gone. I don't need to worry about Aurora Veil now. We're out of Tailwind. I mean, she should just bring in Zydog again. I should have gotten a Dragon Dance off. If she... Hopefully she doesn't bring Zydog back in. Because if she does, it's game. I need to get a Dragon Dance off. Which I should have set up in front of this thing, but... You know, it could have been Iceum Z or something crazy. I can get a high jump. I can get a Dragon Dance off of ever in front of everything but Zygarde. She might think I'm scarfed. Which would be awesome if she's afraid to bring in Zygarde right now. Nope, that's game. Honestly, I think that's game. I don't live... I don't live in outrage. I mean, we're going to shoot for it. But if she goes outrage, I, I mean, Haxorus dies. It's as simple as that. Um, Nitto King potentially lives in outrage. I mean, she's got full. She has full coverage, so like, she's not locked into any one particular move. Thousand arrows would kill me. Outrage kills me. She's locked into outrage actually. So there goes Haxorus. I mean, I should have maybe swapped Suicune in. She's locked into this. So oh my god, I thought I still had. Nope, Torn's gone as well. So it's pretty much Nitto King versus the world right now. Um, I'm gonna lose, dude. This is not my weekend. Um, why is it that like every time I get remotely close to playoffs and like just need to finish out season strong and stuff that like I just can't do it? I literally just keep pissing away these leads. I was what four and one in APA, and now I'm gonna finish four and four. Well done, Decay Cray. Uh, I really didn't have any answers to Double Dragon, um, rocking Outrage continuously, uh, which seems kind of dumb. I feel like I should have. All I needed to bring was Bulu, and I could have stopped both aspects of this um even frost last like priority the frost last speed well no zydog outbeats frost last but um that's gonna be game Yep, that's going to be Megalopony coming in with some priority. Um, I need to get that Dragon Dance off. I should have Dragon Danced in front of... Uh, should have Dragon Danced in front of... Uh, Lola Ninetales. I feel like that was really my win con. And I pissed it away. Um, 
Well, let's finish strong. We'll at least do everything we can here. Um, sludge wave. Nope, wrong move. Okay, that's fine. Fake out's probably gonna kill us. Wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Ooh, power up punch. That seems a little unnecessary. Can we get the freeze? Not that I'm gonna get a freeze, actually. Honestly, like, if I had clicked Sludge Wave like I wanted to, I potentially could have killed there. That was really dumb of me. I, I just misclicked. Uh, not that I think, like, what's Luxury Speed? 70. Nido King. Oh my god. I legit could have won. Bro. All I needed to do. Was hit the right button. Why does this happen to me? I feel like if I hit sludge wave. I mean I could have been wrong. Like maybe it wouldn't have killed. It was a roll I think. Like 76. What's the. I mean you had some rocks damage. But. That's going to be game. Uh, congrats to K. Cray on her first win of the season. Um, maybe we should have sacked Suicune earlier. Um, to get the power-up punch damage off. I should have checked speeds. Um, yeah. It's gonna be a 3-0 win to K. Cray. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully next week goes better. And until next time, peace out, you sexy, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful gaming legends.